first appearance of the Batman, Bruce Wayne and Commissioner Jim Gordon. One of the top three most important comics ever published. After DC Comics, huge success with Superman editors were looking for another superhero to cash in on. Young creators Bob Kane and Bill Finger came up with and developed the Batman. The team was inspired by Douglas Fairbanks' portrayal of Zorro, Lee Falk's comic strip, The Phantom, and Leonardo da Vinci's The Flying Machine, which had large bat-like wings. But the biggest inspiration is obviously The Bat, a novel by Mary Roberts Reinhardt from 1926, and it was made into a silent picture that same year. Detective Comics number 27 is one of the most desirable and valuable comic books to own, an important part of American pop culture history. Heritage Auctions has sold copies for as much as a million and a half, and on eBay, Comics Warehouse in Texas has a beautiful, restored, high-grade copy for just three and a half million. Here's the back cover. It shares the same back as All-American Comics number two. Here's a copy that's been bit by a hungry baby shark. See the water stains? Here's Batman's first splash cover. The story was the case of the chemical syndic. You're looking at authentic interior, an off-white page, Bob Kane artwork. You're looking at black and white proof pages that previously belonged to Bob Kane that a consigner found as he lived next door to where Kane used to live in Queens, New York. He discovered them in a trunk in the trash in 1975. And many years later, consigned them to Heritage Auctions. I'll leave you with this candid photo from 1939 of Tech 27 on the newsstand. We're looking at an altered cover that came out in the Archives Volume 1 book um, and first came out for this famous first edition in 1974. As you see, the rooftop terrace is not there. Bob Kane's autograph isn't there. They call it the oversized reprint. This is the 1984 Nabisco reprint. They call this the Oreo cookies reprint. But do you know how many Big Newtons I consumed thanks to this promo? Here's the Millennium reprint from 2000 and the Alex Ross 2019 cover tribute. It's one of the most swiped covers ever and the second most valuable comic book ever behind action number one.